Hi there, reading buddies. Today, we're going to be reading about sharks. Sharks come in all different sizes. Some are really, really big, and others are really small. And sharks live in our oceans. Have you ever seen a shark? I have. They are really cool. Today's book is Hark a Shark, all about sharks, from the Cat in the Hatch Learning Library. Do you have a copy? Well, why don't you get yours and you can read along with us. Hark a Shark by Bonnie Worth, illustrated by Artiez Ruiz and Joe Matthew from the Cat in the Hat's Learning Library, read with consent of Random House. I'm the Cat in the Hat, and for more than a lark, would you care to go to a brand new theme park? In a super shark tank that's like a small sea, we will visit with sharks. Do you dare come with me? Sharks seem very scary, to us it is true, but most sharks are really no danger to you. People fear sharks, and that's mostly because of films that star sharks with big snapping jaws. But give sharks a chance, and I think you will find they will dazzle your eyes and broaden your mind. See this wonderful boat bobbing here on the water? It's my super stupendous ship-shaped shark spotter. For tracking down sharks, it's the best, don't you know? So hop on aboard, shark spotting will go. Over 400 species swim the ocean today. Let's visit some of them. Anchors away. Sharks have been around long before the dinosaur, about 400 million years, maybe more. Fossils of shark teeth simply abound. More than 200 species to date have been found. We never find bones because sharks don't have those. Sharks are made of cartilage, just like your nose. Cartilage helps sharks to turn into bend and to move through the water much faster, my friend. Like a brave knight's thick suit of mail, a shark skin protects it almost without fail. Stroke the skin, head to tail, it's smooth, you will see. Stroke the skin, tail to head, and it's as rough as can be. That's because it has denticles, hard toothy stuff, that lies flat for swimming, but makes the skin tough. A whale skin gets dirty and gunky, you see, but shark skin stays clean and nearly gunk free. It's tough and it's rough, and it's sleek and it's clean. Shark skin's unlike anything you've ever seen. These fake shark skin suits help swimmers to swim. Human skin grafts are grown from shark skin. The gunk falls right off of this shark's butter side because of the paint that is rough like shark hide. Looking for shark's teeth? There are plenty. Know why? Most sharks have a nearly unending supply. From a jaw made of bone, your human teeth grow. Shark's teeth grow from gums in row after row. When a tooth becomes loose or else gets a bad crack, it will soon be replaced from a tooth in the back. What type of food will your average shark choose? Most sharks hunt for meat when they're out for a cruise. Great white's teeth are sharp for tearing and munching. Horn shark's teeth are flat for crushing and crunching. The shark you see here might fill you with awe, but the tiniest teeth fill its giant maw. It's the largest shark that you'll ever meet. We measured it and it's 54 feet. 
What is our giant friend's favorite dish? Plants and animals called plankton and wee tiny fish. These gill rakers here act just like a sieve. They sift out the food whale sharks need to live. When a shark swims along, its mouth opens wide. Water comes in, goes out gills on the side. Its tail beats the water and swings side to side. See how smoothly this leopard shark here seems to glide? Petrol fins lift, I have been thinking, like two airplane wings to keep sharks from sinking. Dorsal fins on the top stand up and are ready to keep the sharks upright, swimming even and steady. With its wide pectorals the angel shark lies flat, and as still as a rug, will you just look at that? It's so still that you might think it's napping. Then suddenly, look, its strong jowls are snapping. The shark comes equipped with a keen inner ear that senses whenever its prey might be near. And the nostril-like holes that sit under its snout sniff out any prey that is lurking about. The name we, that we give these two holes is Nares. It's helpful to know the word rhymes with fairies. Nurse sharks have whiskers. And what are they for? These whiskers, called barbels, sweep the seafloor. These whiskery gizmos do not go to waste. The shark uses them to feel and to taste. There's a line of pores along the shark's hide. The pores are like sensors set into shark's hide. They pick up vibrations from prey all around, cluing sharks as to where their prey can be found. Most sharks, as a rule, have quite keen eyesight. Their eyes can see well in both dim and bright light. The puff at her shy shark's long tail whips around and helps it to hide from predators shark experts have found. The hammerhead shark's range of sight overlaps, giving it much better vision, perhaps. But who needs sharp eyes weighed down deep in the murk, where a rare goblin shark knows does all the work? Some sharks are hatched out of eggs in a case that is hidden by mom in a very safe place. Some shark eggs hatch inside of mom and then thrive on yet egg yolk till they're big enough to survive. Lemon sharks, like us, as I have just read, grow in their mom's bodies, where they're safe and fed. This pup is born live, rests a bit, and then hark. Off it goes on its own. That's the life of a shark. Thing too has come up with this most clever verse. An empty egg case is called a mermaid's purse. Tagging is how we have learned very much about sharks' habits and movements and such. Lemon sharks get tagged and don't seem to mind. Other sharks mind it plenty, I think you will find. Tags offer data, like this bit for instance. A blue shark can swim a very long distance. In 16 months time, from New York it will swim 4,000 miles too far off Brazil. The things are now holding a shark spotter contest to reward each shark here for what they do best. The whale shark is biggest, we've said that before. The smallest, dwarf lantern shark, about 8 inches, no more. The fastest is Mako. It's a speed whiz. The Wobegon might be the slowest there is.
What sort of shark is this that I spot? It looks like a thresher shark here, does it not? It has a long tail. See how that tail swishes? To round up its dinner, a mouthful of fishes. tiger shark isn't fussy. It eats anything. A clock or a stool or rusty bed spring. The cookie cutter shark, its big teeth rips. Neat perfect circles sucked free with its lips. The spiny dogfish, just call him granddad, lives as long as some humans. That's some life he's had. The megamouth attacks its prey. It glows in the dark. Light works as a lure for this deep water shark. These white reef tip sharks sometimes swim in packs and hunt as a team for their favorite snacks. The spinner shark here confuses its prey by spinning its body in a dizzying way. The great white looks deadly upon close inspection, but may be in danger without our protection. Our visit is over, but hold on, not quite. Let's spend some more time with the deadly great white. The great white is simply a hunting machine. Watch it at work and you'll see what I mean. Dark on its top side and lighter below, it can sneak up no matter the angle you know. Its jaws jut out far, the better to grip. Its teeth are made so as to bite and to rip. Its big head shakes hard to loosen and snatch. Its eyes roll back, avoiding the scratch. If you swim where it's safe, sharks will leave you be. You will stay safe as on land, you will see. Around this hard fact, I will not haw or hem. Sharks should fear us more than we do them. Sharks are in danger, this I will repeat. People hunt them down for sport and for meat. For oil and for their remarkable skins, and let us not forget their dorsal fins. People are not sharks natural prey, but too many people think it's that way. They want to get sharks before sharks get to us. Let's speak for the sharks and stir up a fuss. Do your bit to help, here's what you might say. To shark fin supper, just say yuck. No way! Do not go shark fishing just for a lark. Let the sharks be. Yes, let's save a shark. Wow, there sure are a lot of different sharks, aren't there? I didn't know there were so many. And I really learned a lot today. Like, some sharks hatch from eggs and other sharks are born alive. I sure hope you learned something too. Well, thanks for stopping by reading buddies, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!